Hi, I just wanted to do a really quick video just on applying a master effect to the whole project in the Akai Force and then also applying it into the Q-Link knobs. So you can see here I've got um, some EQ cutoffs on low, mid and high. Um, so when I when I first got the Akai Force, I've had it about a week um, and I've come from machine to come to this. Uh, I just struggled a little bit with trying to get a master effect on the whole project and I don't really know why. When I worked out how to do it, it's really simple. And I do think the Akai Force has got a much better workflow than machine. For me personally, maybe it's not for you, I don't know. Um, but as a, a, a one piece box, one solution, everything in one, it's just a really great, um, simple to use um, very intuitive, very, very powerful little piece of machinery. Anyway, I'll stop rambling on. Um, so what I did was, um, obviously you go into Mixer to add in your effects to each of the different channels in there, but I couldn't work out how to do it for them all. I thought it should be under settings or somewhere, but I, I just couldn't find it. And then there's a really obvious button down the bottom here, which is Master, so that's where you do it. So same as you would with other um, uh, other um, effects that you're adding into other channels, you just do it in the master one, so the output's one and two here. You can see I've already got the air, kill EQ in there, they've got some X, Y effects in there as well, but if I click plus, you'll see. All you do is you just choose your effect, uh, and that's it, it's in there. So I've already got two in there. So that puts it onto the master to say, right, this is going to be for the whole project, and then you've got to apply it through into the Q-Link knobs. And again, I was struggling with that a little bit as well, because I just couldn't work out how to do it. And again, it's really simple. So you go menu, knobs, now, key thing is make sure you're on project, and then make sure you're on master, and then also make sure you're on insert one, which is where I've got that kill EQ there. And then you'll see here, all you do is you, li you literally tap on each of the different knobs. You tap on the knob, and then you would select your parameter from that, so it's low on that one. Tap on the knob, select your parameter, tap on the knob, select your parameter. Job done, they appear there. Back to matrix, turn it off master view, back to normal view, and let's just see if that works, it should do. So now I should be able to kill the low threshold in there, and there it goes, and you see it comes up kill, and there's the high, that'll take the violins pretty much out, bring them back again, and then bring the low back in again. So it's pretty simple. Now something weird I've noticed, there's a bug with this, um, so sometimes when you are starting from a blank project and you actually insert these in here, like, like I've just shown you there, sometimes when you try to do that, although it will actually do the kill and it'll move back to through, it doesn't change on the Q-Link OLED, and I don't know why. And then, <coughs> excuse me, if you save it and then relaunch it, it will work. So it's just a little tiny buggy thing with it there. I'm sure they'll fix it in some future release. But anyway, um, that, that's why I didn't want to do it live for you because the couple of times I've tried it to do it live and then record it, it was just sitting there on through, even though it was killing and doing it, it just wasn't changing on the OLED. So I had to do it, save it, reopen it, and then it works. So anyway, hope that was helpful. And uh, if you do find it helpful, maybe I'll do a couple of little other ones as well. Thanks a lot, bye.